Edwin Beng was about to throw away this fan that he bought three years back. Then a neighbor told him about Rebekopitium, which roughly translates to Repair Cafe in the Malay language. Now, his fan, which would have likely ended up in a landfill, has been repaired. Giving e-waste a second life, that's what this community initiative in Singapore has been doing since it launched in 2014. The neighborhood volunteers of Repair meet every Sunday with the aim of helping people repair and reuse their electrical and electronic goods instead of throwing them away. So by repairing, uh, what we are doing is that we, we will take an item whereby the carbon is already spent manufacturing this product and we fix it for a lot less carbon and then we put it back into somebody's home so that it continues its uh, useful life. It's an important mission. According to a 2018 study conducted by the Singapore government, the country produces 60,000 metric tons of electrical and electronic waste every year. For a small island nation like Singapore, that's a big number. It's a global problem too, with approximately 50 million metric tons of e-waste produced every year planet-wide. That makes e-waste the fastest growing waste stream in the world. To deal with the problem, the Singapore government implemented a legislation in 2019 that puts the onus of e-waste collection on producers, not on consumers or the government. E-waste bins have also been placed all across the city, and Alba Group, a German recycling company, has been designated to carry out the legislation. At this Alba facility, e-waste collected by producers and from the public is sorted and sent for recycling. This ensures that the waste doesn't end up at the country's only landfill, which is expected to hit capacity in 2035. The Alba facility collected and processed 8.9 million kilograms, that is 8,900 metric tons, of electrical waste between July 2021 and December 2022. While the legislation currently targets only certain types of e-waste, the regulations are likely to be expanded to cover more items in the future. Until then, initiatives like Repair Copitium plan to continue their work. Their next step? To expand to more neighbourhood locations and get more Singaporeans to repair and reuse their electronic goods. Singapore's innovative e-waste management strategy is a model that could, with variations, be adopted across the world. Everybody wants to repair. What's preventing people from repair is uh, Firstly, the fear. Uh, the truth is, you don't need a, a rocket scientist to, to figure out repair. It's logic, uh, it's as well as uh, giving them and arming them with the capacity to understand things from the base up. And then people naturally uh, will hunt for more ways to, to fix stuff.